Hello people, welcome to another video and if you remember I said I was going to shoot a lot more black and white in winter um, so with that in mind I uh, grabbed Penny and some Portra 400 As soon as we don't get that many sunny days in January um, we headed to the coast and I just had to take some colour film and I haven't shot 6x6 colour at the coast or not in a video anyways I thought that would be a nice little change up I just felt like I needed some colour in my life so I shot two rolls of film that day and they're both very different. The first roll, which you'll see first obviously in the video, um, was shot during a day and it was quite cloudy and that was all I was going to shoot but I'll just roll a video and we'll see and I'll do some talking over the top. Yeah, so what you see there in the viewfinder was just a little tease or maybe I just started shooting before the actual camera was on the one. Now I'm not sure what I was doing here. I wish I'd have framed this a lot better. I, I should have got uh, probably closer to the lobster pots to blur them out more and had the boat more in the top, sort of right hand side of the image. So yeah, that's one I might actually revisit one day. I love seeing the old machinery on a beach, but the next image is so much better. I was really drawn to the cup of tea sitting on the side and liked just the scene here. Definitely can't beat some old rope for providing a load of texture. Now this just shows you how hard it is to frame these up and get a straight horizon. So that's the first roll done and it was time for a quick refreshment as I do like a little beer. When I came out after having a beer, I just see the light going down at that sort of golden hour and I had to shoot my second roll of film. I nearly went home without doing anything. Um, I shot all this second roll in about 20 minutes. I loved how the sky looked without any clouds in it and it was just too good an opportunity to pass up. And these are probably some of the best pictures I've shot with the Pentagon, I think. Definitely both films look very different and this second roll is so much better. I love the pictures in the second roll. I was going to split this into two videos as they are so different, but it's one day and I thought I'd just show everything in the one. Now I can't think what happened here because looking at the viewfinder, that was the image I was trying to get, yet yeah, that's what I ended up with. So I think I maybe shot one or didn't shoot it and I was too busy filming. I do like the, the lookout and I really want to get a nice picture of it, which I did later on, so I'm quite happy I went back there.
I really like them flags flapping in the wind. I don't know why I didn't get a shot at them, but you know me and I go back there quite a lot, so that's a shot for another day. This image here, the driftwood, I think is my favourite one. I've got a viewfinder image of this from years ago and the picture never did come out on the Pentagon. So I've always been wanting to shoot it with the Pentagon. So it was nice to go back there this time and the light, everything just fell into place. I'm just so glad I got this one. Walking up to this boat, I knew I wanted to get a minimal composition with it being right at the bottom of the frame. So I really pleased when I saw this one. And I was surprised that came out as well as it did. Or you might think it didn't, but I like it anyway. I had a couple of shots left and I was saving one for the lookout tower. But this tiny little house, I just couldn't pass up an opportunity to not shoot that when there's not many people around. Although I still managed to get someone in a shot, so I was obviously taking too long and not paying attention. That's the trouble when you're looking down through the viewfinder, I think. Now that guy's walking far too quick behind the lookout tower here, because. The minute I click the shutter, he pops out the other end. I still like this image though, I've been wanting to get a nice picture of that for so long and the lighting and everything just worked. And that was the end of that film. So, like I said, I'm really happy with that second. I'm so glad I went out and shot the second roll. I think definitely they're some of the best images. So, thanks all you lovely people for watching. Um, Hopefully I'll get a video out again very soon and yeah, see you then. Bye bye. Here we go, new camera setup. Let's see what this looks like. I still need a microphone though, so if any microphone companies out there want to send me one to try out, much appreciated.